All right, question of the week in lecture review number 43. Our question is, which muscle lies between the scapula and the serratus anterior? Is it going to be A, the latissimus dorsi, B, the supraspinatus, C, the subscapularis, or D, the pectoralis major? One more time. Which muscle lies between the scapula and the serratus anterior? Is it the latissimus dorsi, the supraspinatus, the subscapularis, or the pectoralis major? So I'll give you a few moments to work on this one, and then we'll go ahead and head over to the explanation. All right, so in the community tab, I asked you which muscle lies between the scapula and the serratus anterior, and we had a great turnout here. We had 57 votes. 26% of you said it was going to be the latissimus dorsi. 0% of you said it was going to be the supraspinatus. 72% of you said it was going to be the subscapularis. And then 2% of you said it was going to be the pectoralis major. And then thank you to the nine people who liked this post. So a majority of you went with the subscapularis. So let's see if this is the correct answer. And so we're looking for which muscle lies between the scapula and the serratus anterior. So let's go ahead and take a look at these structures. And so here we can see the scapula, which is a little bit translucent, so we can see the serratus anterior. And so our serratus anterior is going to originate on the surfaces of the ribs, or the costals, we need to know it by that term as well. And then it's going to wrap around the thoracic cage, and it's gonna insert onto this medial border of the scapula. Well, if you're familiar with the scapula, what is going to be sandwiched between the serratus anterior and the scapula? So let's take a look at the muscles of the scapula. And here we have the four rotator cuff muscles. This is the posterior view, and then this is the anterior view of the scapula. And we know that this is the posterior view because we can see the spine of the scapula. And we know that this is the anterior view because we can see the coracoid process. Now, here we have the supraspinatus, we have the infraspinatus, and we have the teres minor on the posterior aspect of the scapula. But here on our anterior view, we have our subscapularis. And so the subscapularis is going to be the muscle that is in between the serratus anterior as well as the scapula. So the correct answer here is the subscapularis. And so great job here, guys. 72% of you got this answer correct. All right, y'all have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you in the next question of the week. Y'all take care.